Jackson and Hunter here. Yay! Hunter, did you enjoy your vacation? Okay, it wasn't a vacation from, like, most of my responsibilities. It was really just a vacation from you. Did you enjoy your vacation? <laughs> and it was a vacation from a thousand dollar investment that went belly up in this... So, no, I guess I really <laughs> didn't in a lot of ways. Okay. I didn't view it as a vacation. Anyways, please Anyways, continue. today, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember that you guys should become patrons over on Patreon. There is a end card at the end of the video to tell you guys all the cool stuff that you get if you become a patron. So, we are going to... Oh, also, guys, the gameplay era of gameplay footage is coming to an end. I knew something bad was going to happen. Um... All it took was a few people recognizing <laughs> you at RTX. And that's not why, that's not why. Me hiding so, in these goddamn videos the reason, have ended officially. The reason why I decided I to do this is because, like, I talked to Caleb and Jacob, their semblance of sanity, and I talked to Arnold, and I realized that there's a very personal connection with seeing someone on camera more than just hearing their voice spit out a theory, right? You see our gestures, you see our facial expressions, like, there's something there, you know what I mean? And so I wanted to, like, you know, it's right here. It's right here. So anyway, this is our new way we're going to do videos. There are still some of our uh, videos that I haven't released yet that still have gameplay footage, but they're slowly disappearing. So anyway, we are going to talk about the Ruby release date uh, for the volume. Do you know anything about this? Because you weren't with me, so I don't know what you know about. Okay, so all I saw was, like, text posts of, like, what happened in okay. the Ruby Well, thing. I'm just going to show everybody. So this is the Fathom Events Uh a page. Wait, so what, they are going live, to do uh, the live thing? Yes. I they are gonna this. do a theater screening of volume six in theaters the Thursday before it goes live. That's October twenty fifth. So obviously tickles are tickles tickets aren't on sale yet. Tickles aren't on <laughs> sale yet. Uh tickets aren't on sale yet, but um on August 17th, they are. Uh, you guys can put in your email. It also shows the runtime is an hour and 30 minutes, so you gotta kind of wonder, hmm, but what's they, going on? That may added... be a placeholder time, by the way. That may not be the legit time. Uh, they, they also said they were adding parts of Volume 5 to pad out the runtime. Yeah. So it's not the It's probably length. the first couple episodes before Volume 5 ends. Like, I'm guessing where they'll start so it's is not the, the Battle of, of a, Beacon. A or Battle of, of Beacon. A, of a Barbie animated No. <laughs> you guys will show. get that one day. Um, I'm guessing they're going to start with the Battle of Haven, and then they're going to slowly get into Volume 6. Mm -hmm. So they're going to start when uh, Raven opens up the portal and they come in and the Cinder Maiden fight or whatever. There's also going to be exclusive bonus content, and Hunter and I are going to talk about that in a minute, but the actual premiere date of the volume, as you guys can see, is October 27th, 2018. People have been talking about how happy Yang looks in this photo. I know. Have we, like, finally escaped the Volume 3 sadness? Are Maybe. we going back to a jaunty adventure show? But yeah. So... Those are the like dates. My bitches are back. Woo! Those like are the that's... dates you guys need to look out for. The rest of this video is basically going to be bonus content speculation. Oh. Which is fun. So, so what are they going to show for bonus content, you may ask? At this point, it's just like all of the new shit. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to throw out bonus a couple guesses, enough? okay? Yes. So this won't be its own video because I think that's really stupid, but they actually confirmed that there is going to be a character younger than 13 introduced in the show. Because a little okay. kid asked, is there anyone going to be my age, like, in Ruby one day? And they were like, yeah, we have a character under 13, or whatever, right? Um, I also, think they only yeah. answered because a little kid asked, but whatever. Uh, so, maybe... Uh, okay, so this is really far-fetched. I think that maybe that little kid that they're showing is going to be a Winter Maiden or something. And so maybe oh. they'll show art of her, if that makes sense. Because, okay, this is a little biology-ish, I guess. But you become a woman when you have your period, right? Like, when you start puberty, that is a young woman. And young woman, like, young women are the maidens, right? So technically, it could be someone a little younger than 13 that inherits uh, the maiden powers. Do you really think that, like... The magic that is the maybe well, like, for ovulation. I don't know, but apparently. 
like fuck. 30 is the cutoff or whatever, or like 35 or before you hit 40. Also, or I feel bad for someone in the audience who thinks, still thinks they're like spry and cool and like 30s the end for young women ship, and they're like, no, well, fuck yeah. me I think then. it's I think it's around. Uh, they tried. To, they said for Raven just got in pa- a little past the cutoff date, so that's 30, 35, maybe even okay. up to 40, because that's when you stop being young. Sorry, I don't make up the but rules. But when you go old, it doesn't leave you. No. Okay. You just keep it, but you, you can't just get can't it. Get okay. Yeah. So maybe that's something that they'll show concept art for new characters, concept art in general, because they showed us a concept art of the Manicore, and that had an interesting story behind it, and I want to tell. Uh, what they said Thing in a different video. Huge. Yeah, so I'm guessing grim concept art could be bonus content. Uh, <laughs> character concept art. Ruby could be Chibi. Bonus content. Did you ever? Did you ever go to the? No, you didn't go with me to when they when they first had brought uh, Ruby to theaters. I went to Toronto, downtown Toronto, okay. to watch one, and that was the big like surprise at the end. Is before Ruby Chibi ever got properly released. Oh. We got to see, like, actual skits That's from... interesting. So, like, unless it's, so, like, a new they show. Can do what like if it's, a... like, Genlock? What if it... Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so I have notes that for a video that I'm going to make this week. I guess you can be in it, but you didn't see it, so it's kind of awkward for you to try and picture, like, what I'm talking about in your head. Because you saw this a Genlock make... trailer? Yeah. Okay. Um... And so I'm going to do sort of, like, uh, explaining the Genlock trailer, like I explained the Adam trailer. Um, But, yeah, that's a good point. It could be Genlock bonus content easily. Um, Just because, like, not that the animation was choppy, but it was definitely not finished. Like, when we saw it, so maybe it'll be a more polished version of Genlock stuff. Can I ask you something? Why is it that there's so many, like, like Netflix does this and a bunch of different, like, live-action anime does this? They always look like... The thing has like 10 frames per second. I don't know. And I fucking hate it. And maybe Netflix, how it processes. But but no, it's just like the way it's done, like artistically, it's it, these like Japanese 3D animated animes yeah. all have terrible like, and I understand that maybe that's like the art style, but it's also like, fuck, it's terrible to look at. I don't I know. I hope it's not uh, like that. Genlock looks pretty nice, I think. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> it looks nice. Plus, um, Ruby's in 3D, right? Yeah. So Genlock is also in 3D. Yeah, so, so hopefully it's sort it's of more like that. Like it looks Ruby. like a more realistic Genlock. Wait, a more realistic, realistic Ruby. Ruby. There we go. Genlock 2. They've already skipped to, like, Genlock Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Like, we're already doing, redoing this. Mm-hmm. We've, so, we've cut it out too quickly. This is something I also want to talk about in a different video, just because I think it needs more expansion. But the theme for this volume is, to understand the present, you need to understand the past. And That's that why they been decided... Said out loud? Hmm? Has that been said out loud yes. by someone? Okay. Um, Miles said it, apparently. So, um, Hopefully you would have a theme for a series and not just... Well, last season. volume was... Oh, God. They described it in one word last volume, didn't they? They said, like, the last volume was about reconnection or something, like... Guess so. Bringing the girls back together. I don't remember what they said last Sounds time. About right. But like four was supposed to be about the journey. Five was I think about reconnection or something. So this is about looking at the past to understand how we got in here in the present. That's why we got the Adam trailer. So I'm sort of thinking in terms of bonus content. Maybe there will be some sort of flashback that we'll eventually get in the show, mm-hmm. right? But they could easily do like a Stark flashback or even a, a Ruby flashback, like just to. Like, a Team Ruby flashback, right? So, that may be something to be considered, I guess, like, in terms of bonus stuff. But, yeah, unless they're... I think Genlock is actually the best bet. bet. But if they mean bonus content exclusively for Ruby, obviously art, concept art, is the... um, Usually what they decide they also, to show I was off. really excited they talked about a Ruby novel. A what? Novel. <laughs> we're going to talk about that. That's another video. Slow oh, down there, Jesus sailor. Christ. All right. They were in the same Tumblr post when they looked up Don't everything worry, that happened Don't worry. I have lots of Ruby plans page. for today. Another so. Ruby manga for you not to what? read. <laughs> we're going to talk about it. We're that was more of See, your shirt says complaint. chaos on it because you're messing up my schedule. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Anyways, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, uh, remember to tell me, what do you guys think that the bonus content is going to be? Is it still too early to tell? 
Um, what do you guys think of sort of the release date, I guess? Like, it's pretty much the same every year, but I think now it's a week later than the last year. Like, I feel like okay. last year was the 14th or something. Now I know it's volume, the volume 3 was delayed after Monty died. So mm -hmm. as long as no one dies, we're probably good. That was dark. I apologize. Okay. Anyway, this is <laughs> probably not... If someone dies, we're probably not going to release this video now, are we? No. Or you will. Or I will, and, and then we'll like, look Hunter's back later and be like, Jesus. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you guys should consider being patrons over on Patreon. Our $10 patrons get three video tickets, which means they can pick three video topics for us to do a month. Our $5 patrons get early access to basically everything uh, that we put out a week in advance. Early access, in fact. And our $1 patrons get access to our Discord server. They get to participate in polls and all of that sort of fun stuff. So I hope that you guys will consider becoming a patron, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.